So if we're ready to head to the woods today, let's slip on our wellies, grab a book and a snack, put on our Mac and let's go play. Hi, welcome to session five of Wellies in the Woods Online by Groundwork East. My name's Ash and in this series of videos, I'll be introducing you to several of our most favorite activities that we get up to on our Wellies in the Woods outdoor play program for preschool children and their parents and carers. Except they'll be for you to do at home in your garden, in a local woods or park or whatever green space that you have near you. Today's activities will be based around the popular children's book, The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. For today's session, you'll need a few materials. So grab a pen and paper and make a list. Otherwise, they'll be on the screen now. Today we'll need an apple and apple corer, some string and some scissors, some vegetable fat, suet, lard or peanut butter, a spoon and a bowl, some bird seed, and a colour bingo sheet, which you can download and print at home from the link in the description box below. Finally, you'll need something to sit on outside, like a blanket or a tarp, and a snack for when you sit down and read the story together. Before we get stuck into today's activities, now's a good time to read today's story. If you don't have the book, don't worry, that's fine. Just carry on watching or skip forward a few seconds and we'll meet you at the first activity. If you do have the book, great. If you haven't done so already, head outside with your blanket and snack and sit down and read today's story together. You can pause the video now and when you finish reading, press play and we'll all join in together for the first activity. Ready? Okay, let's get reading. Welcome back. Did you enjoy today's story? It's a very colourful book, isn't it? In the story today, there's a very hungry caterpillar that goes around eating loads of different types of food so that it can grow really big and turn into a beautiful butterfly. Now, for today's first activity, we're going to have a little walk around and see what beautiful colours that we can see in nature. In the description box below, you'll find a link to a colour bingo spotter sheet. You can download and print this at home so that you can take it out with you to help you spot some of the different colours that you can see in the green space that you're playing in today. So if you're ready to go out, let's take our sheet with us and let's see what we can find. Now off you go on your search and when you find a new colour, shout BINGO! When you've found all the colours that you can, come back and I'll meet you back here in the seating area. Look for interesting colours that stand out and for colours you can see a lot of, like greens and browns, count how many different shades you can see. In the story, the little caterpillar ate loads of different types of food so that he could turn into a beautiful butterfly. Do you remember some of the things that he ate? I remember him eating things like chocolate cake and lollipops. Do you think that's what caterpillars usually eat in the wild? What do you think they eat? What do you like to eat at home? Now, everyone in these woods around me is always looking for something tasty to eat. So for this next activity, we're gonna help some of the birds around us by making a bird feeder. For this activity, you're gonna need a few things. You'll need the following materials for this activity. An apple and apple corer, some string and some scissors, some vegetable fat, suet, lard or peanut butter, a spoon and a bowl, and some bird seed. If you can't find any seed specifically for birds, a regular seed mix from a supermarket should do, so long as it's not coated in salt or any other flavourings. Core your apple very carefully using an apple corer. Why not ask an adult to help you do this bit? and then stick some of the bigger seeds in through the skin of the apple. Next, find a couple of sticks in your woods, park or garden and tie them together in the middle. Tie another piece of string on long enough to go through the apple and tie around something on the other end. Feed the string through the apple so it rests on the sticks. 
You can add vegetable fat, suet, lard or peanut butter to the holes and fill it with seed too. You can hang this at home in the garden or in a tree in your local park so you can come back and visit in a few days to see if the birds have eaten it all. If you're working in a protected woodland or a conservation area, it's probably best if you take it home today. If you can find pine cones near you that look like this, you can turn these into bird feeders too. Just tie some string around the top. Now squash fat or peanut butter into the cracks and roll it all in some bird seed and you're done. It should look like this. Well, that's it for session five, but it doesn't have to be the end of your playtime. If you've still got some energy left, why don't you try and remember some of the activities that we did in previous video sessions? If you can't remember, don't worry, just click back and re-watch some of the videos that you enjoyed the most. Or you can use your imagination and try and come up with your own activities to do at home. Well, I had a lot of fun playing outdoors today and I hope you all did too. If you enjoyed yourself, please remember to hit the like button and tap the bell to subscribe and leave a comment to let us know of any other children's books or activities that you would like to see us feature in future episodes. Otherwise, thanks for stopping by and see you next time for more Wellies in the Woods online. Bye.